the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends <clears throat> So in the last lecture, we actually saw about digital signature, the Shamir secret sharing and the elliptical crypto curve cryptography. So in this lecture, what we are going to be seeing is what is a blockchain fork and, uh, you know, uh, how how the mining is basically done. So what is a mining, wh how the mining is basically done and who actually decides or how it has been decided who actually won the mining. Okay, uh, because it is only that person who actually won the mining and there is an algorithm behind it gets a reward and gets to actually, you know, um, say like what is the answer. So let's actually take a deep dive and let's actually see these things more in detail. Okay, I'm excited. Thank you. Let's say friends, in today's lecture, what we are going to be seeing is you must have actually heard minus, Bitcoin minus. So what is this mining and what are, who are the Bitcoin miners and who determines who won the mining and who actually got it? What is the sequence of mining and how the transactions are actually done? So this is what we'll be seeing in today's agenda. A mining is basically something you actually like, you know, whatever you dig and whatever you get is called mining. Okay, simple, simple English, right? <clears throat> in plain terms. So this mining, there is also another field called data mining, where you actually mine the data and, uh, you know, it is also used in data sciences, data analysis and, you know, and fields of that nature. Uh, but in this case, we are not going to be seeing that, thankfully. <clears throat> so this is called Bitcoin mining. So mining is basically an accounting function to record your transaction. Okay. And there is a fee based incentive okay uh, for miners to validate the blockchain transaction or how do i actually say this now let's actually take an example <laughs> now now say suppose this is that a hypothetical idea hypothetical idea the traffic in your you know in your in your country or in your place is very bad and there are many persons who actually keep on violating so the government actually announces telling that, hey, if you can actually catch me, uh, the persons who actually keep on violating the red light, if you can actually send me with the picture and then just send it to me, upload it to me, uh, you know, in the website. And this will be anonymous where your name will not be given and I'll give you a reward for it. Guess what is going to happen within a week or within a month, that place is going to become heaven because everybody will start complaining. Okay. And along with the proof. And the persons who have been caught, they can be sent a fine, okay, uh, because of violating the traffic, you know, stuff of that nature. Similarly here, you have to give an incentive for the person who are actually validating the blockchain transaction. And remember, this is a global level. So we don't know who's who, we don't know who's a kit and kin, we don't know who are friends, you know, who, we don't know anything. So if you can actually pay an incentive, you know, in a big, wide, worldwide web, Persons will be interested to do the transaction authorization. <clears throat> Otherwise, why would I be? Okay. And this is called the proof of work. Okay. <laughs> so there are many things here, the proof of work, proof of stake, which we actually talked before. And I'll be covering the same as well. So the mining actually discovers new blocks. So the mining software makes something called as a nouns, guesses to win the right record for a block. And this is the rate. So a machine at a random can guess 32 bit nouns. And the winning machine actually confirms and records a transaction and collects the re rewards. Okay. So whoever actually said like, you know, this is what it is. They actually, you know, collect the, this thing, uh, the reward. All the nodes actually confirm that the transactions and append the new block to the copy of distributed ledger. Or how do I actually say this? I have machines here who are all you know doing the nouns the calculations and stuff of that nature and this machine actually correctly says like okay this is the person this is the person who actually got it and i actually authorize it and everybody agrees to it and if this machine is the first person actually to say it he that machine actually wins a reward and if the person actually is wrong they actually lose the reward uh you know so this is the proof of work consensus 
and uh, you know so that person will be spending in their computer the energy the computing power and you know, everything so you know there are certain things which actually goes beh behind it okay so it is not easy uh, you don't easily get the reward so you have to you know correctly get it right <clears throat> so once it has been confirmed the transactions are actually appended to the new block all right uh, so this is how the mining is actually made so the miners as i said it has been distributed across the globe okay the first to the first to publish or broadcast is a person to actually win it at the top of the chain the miners can actually roughly create the same block at the same time so the blocks usually take some time to propagate so i can actually create a block here block here block here block here but it all takes time to actually propagate the first one to actually reach here you know it actually wins so the different nodes receive blocks at different times so the network actually you know it needs a way to decide which block it will use as an official record as it happens so there's a lot of mechanism computing power going on behind it uh, so you know uh, it's huge computational power here so the network also needs an algorithm to decide which one it can actually take and mining does not stop till everything has been figured out all right so this is how you know who wins the first the first one to publish first wins the first so the sequence of mining is you start someone starts it keeps propagating in this manner so this is a sequence of mining so the transactions base basically it takes time to confirm okay because of the reasons i told you each transactions one it has been accepted as a height the height of the block is a number of blockchains between it and the genesis block each increase in the blockchain height is called a confirmation so or if it is actually starting here it goes like this like this like this like this it has got like you know four levels of confirmation so what they actually say is a transaction with five blocks above like say it is starting here one two three four five is said to have six confirmations so you need to wait for six confirmations before you would confirm that this is a value all right so this is a transaction i trust i made this lecture clear for you if you have any questions you know whom to contact and where to contact uh, and i'll be very happy to explain uh, you know any of your questions till we see next time take care cheers bye thanks Namaste friends I trust you have actually enjoyed this lecture on the blockchain fork and what is like you know uh, the soft fork and what is the hard fork the backward compatible and stuff of that nature I trust you have actually made some sense out of it if not uh, you know whom to actually contact uh, like always I would like to thank two persons one is you for giving me your golden time uh, and the other is my wife Jayashree for allowing me to follow my passion in order to help people till we see you next time uh you know take care cheers this is president krishna sharma